Bevel alpha and bevel edges both live under the perspective category. And if we start with bevel alpha, I'll just apply this to my logo. And because this layer has an alpha channel, it's going to bevel that alpha channel. So we're getting a highlight and a shadow based on the transparency within this image. You can change the edge thickness. You can change the light angle. You can change the light color. And you can change the light intensity. But that is all there is to bevel alpha. Bevel edges, on the other hand, completely ignores the alpha of your layer and instead looks at the bounding box of that layer. So if I give my logo a background, remember it's currently transparent, but I'll add a solid composite effect to give it a background and place that at the top of my effects stack, and then I'll make it the same color as my background, you can now see what bevel edges is doing. It's just looking at the bounds of your layer and giving those edges that same type of bevel. Change the edge thickness, change the light angle, and change the light color to whatever you want. And finally, the light intensity. But that's all there is to bevel alpha and bevel edges. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.